So, you might have hurt your back. Uh, it could have been from heavy load, it could have been from awkward position, or a lot of the time it could have been from doing something perfectly normal and then it just spasms and goes. And yeah, it's very common. So, a lot of the time people get tight as a response of that lower back pain. So the body stiffens up and limits movement to the area. So L5, S1, a uh, very common place to get injured or to have some form of aggravation of the disc. But all the body's doing when it's tightening up those erectors is making it as stable as possible so that it limits movement and allows the body to heal. So a lot of the time, that even though it's stiff, people are sort of rolling it out and trying to oh, it's my back stiff, I've got to sort of unstiffen it. But the body's doing that for a reason. So a lot of the time movement, uh, even through that plane of motion that causes the pain, uh, is required because there's a lacking strength. And when it heals, you don't want to just regress and go back to that painful state again. So it's very important to actually build up strength in those areas, in the lower back, build up a great motor pattern in terms of how you do certain movements because more than likely, over time, you're fatigued or tired or there was something that just wasn't in the right uh, position or was quite tight that caused that pain to come. And it wasn't just straight away. Fair enough, if you're doing heavy loads and you're in a weird position carrying furniture, uh, then yeah, it could have been from that circumstance. But a lot of the time it is due to things being tired or in positions for long periods of time, for weeks on end, and you keep tightening it up, keep working in wrong positions, for example, and then suddenly you're like, oh. No, nope, it's gone, but it wasn't just from that scenario. It could have been a big build-up over time, a big tightening up over time, and also then tip of the iceberg comes and you hurt your lower back. So we're going to go through stability, motor patterns, strengthening, release. Four things over two weeks to help that lower back over time. It's going to heal anyway. 100%, your lower back will heal by itself, whether it happens over two weeks or not. Uh, will be how well you actually uh, derive the program or sort out and implement the program. Uh, and the reason I say two weeks, it's not like it's like, oh, I truly believe it's two weeks. It's more so that's generally when you're into a state where you can do moderate activity again, especially if you've done a bad injury before. A lot of the time you can keep training with it, uh, especially if it's a minor lower back thing. But the awareness around the issue, strengthening, stabilizing, and releasing those tight muscles is what we're going to focus on.